really disrespectful to animals to kill them for meat and then not eat all the other bits like the organs and the bones. Where we differ is that I think it's disrespectful to kill them when it's needless anyway. I, but I would argue that it is something. Kind of like, I did vegan January last January. Right? Yeah. And I, did it, I thought I did it really well. I'm quite a scientific guy. I did it really, really well. Made all the dolls and tried to hit all the micronutrients and stuff like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Tried to like, you know what I mean? And I felt What were you doing wrong? I don't know. I felt enough like I fruit? Just, Do you eat enough fruit? Yeah, no. I felt like I was just felt undernourished. I felt hungry. Ah, uh, not enough cal calories. Yeah, I, I just felt like I just... Did you track your calories? No. Because you know what some people do when they go vegan, they start eating more plant food, mm. like more whole food plants, so, so like more dense, more vegetables, yeah. they're less, less, less calorie dense, not nutrient dense. Mm. They're higher in nutrients, lower in calories. So you really got to switch, when you do the switch, you really got to think of, okay, what was I eating before? How can I mim mimic a similar amount of calories, but vegan? So eating bread, eating uh, pasta, eating peanut butter, eating like the, the calorie dense foods, but vegan. So what I'm saying is if I got like, if I got say like, if, you get, if you're getting like organic grass fed, milk from like farms where the animals are treated like lovingly and like eggs from like very small where? family farms. Where, where it's are called, these places? Uh, it's, it's, all, it's in like Carlisle, they do about 30 orders a week and I get an order of like, it's, I know I'm, that's not usual, you know what I mean? Like I don't think most I mean, people, yeah, most people, most people, uh, most people, most people think they get, well most people get, a, a free range place for example could have the best marketing in the world and they they slaughter all their animals, they torture all their animals, free range eggs are horrible disgusting hell holes. Yeah. No, they, only they have to let them out for an hour a day or something, don't they? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I've been to free range. I've seen free range places where they let them out. But what happens is because they're laying egg after egg each day, they, their body just sucks all the nutrients, and they end up dying, suffering, and dying in in the sheds. But like, look, this this place where you get your dairy from, guaranteed they slaughter those cows. They have to. Oh no, I get meat from there as well. Okay, yeah. so how is uh, that okay? Like, I just wonder whether like, how is killing an animal for something needless like eating their body okay? Like, in your opinion? Because if, if we can't. I don't, I, from where I felt from when I didn't eat meat, I didn't feel like I wasn't healthy. So I feel like it, you, it's not possible to thrive. Maybe just it's just a group. We just so it's a health thing. Maybe we find this so shocking. With like the world's so sanitised, isn't it? You know what I mean? Sort of like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, I don't think we, the only reason it's even vaguely possible to like not eat meat is because we live in a world where all the food can do all the billionaire miles and you yeah. can get another thing and also I worry about monocrop agriculture where you know we're growing the same crops over and over and over again which if you're not going to feed the, in seven billion people doing this. Where, where do the monocrops go? What? Do you think people just eat monocrops? Well a large amount of protein for example if you're going to have protein not from... No, I'm just wondering where, who do you think uh, is the biggest culprit for consuming monocrops? Do you think it's human beings? Yeah, it's partially about 40% goes to animals I think. I think so uh, 40% goes to uh, no, well, feed, like, like, well, 40 of soy is goes to like chickens and cows. No, well, 77% of uh, soy goes to animals. The world's soy, yeah. yeah I mean, they're, they're chopping down a lot of rainforest. And then 83% uh, of the world's farmland is used for animal agriculture, 83%. A lot of it's not arable, isn't it? Sorry? So a lot of land that you can grow grass on it and you can farm cows on it, but, but you can't. On, but I'm saying that 83% of that land is either used for uh, cows to be grazed on or for crops to be grown for animals. Um, and if we all went vegan, you could reduce that farmland by 75%. And this was a study come out of Oxford University by Joseph Poor, really landmark study. And it looked at about, I think it was 40,000 farms in over 100 countries. And this was what they come to, that the single biggest thing you could do to help the environment is to be vegan. This brings me back to my original point about health though. It's like, well then, Possibly, right? Yeah. But even then, I mean, I've got my mum's, well, a couple of my mum's friends are vegan, and they've taken it quite seriously and really yeah. healthy. And I know that like the risk of like hip fractures and osteoporosis in people who've been vegan for a long, long time. I know that that study on a, a higher risk of fractures has been thoroughly debunked. This is not a good study, and the reason it's not a good study is because it has no statistical transparency. They did not give the details either in the paper or in the supplement about how they did it. And when you actually look at based on what they say, for the BMI, they are using stratification, which is not appropriate for a continuous variable that has a nonlinear risk. And based on the population skew, we have every reason to believe there's residual confounding. And the same thing is true for calcium. Two of the at least five biggest potential confounders, you did a terrible job adjusting for it. It was inappropriate adjustment methods. One of the five, vitamin D, wasn't adjusted for it all. I have no idea why this is being paraded, this study is being paraded around. It's just, it's just weird. For anyone who understands how research is done, why anyone would 
bring this to the table. It's just baffling. Like if you looked at the totality of evidence for plant-based diets, whole food plant-based diets, yeah. it's leaning towards um, being healthier for us. Uh, so heart disease is the number one killer of people. Yeah. And there's, there's, there's no cholesterol in animal pro uh, in a vegan uh, food. Yeah, see, it's funny. I've, been, this is I've really nerded up on this. I wonder. I want to know why I felt so bad. I think. Like, I think you did something wrong. I think. I think it's supposedly cholesterol is actually really good for you. The problem is we live in a world where. Well, you you produce your own. But yeah, when we, you have dietary cholesterol, you talk to any heart surgeon, they'll tell you that it builds up in your arteries, saturated fat especially, and cholesterol builds up in your arteries. Um. Only if it's oxidized though. If the, if the low density cholesterol, the LDL, the bad one, is oxidized by like lifestyle factors. And how does it oxidize? Inflammation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what glu causes inflammation? Glucose spikes are the biggest one, I think. Um, lack of exercise, smoking, alcohol. So, smoking. so let's just say what you're saying is true. Like, do you think you can be healthy as a vegan? You don't. Th you don't believe you can. Well, Lewis Hamilton's a vegan. I don't rule it out, but I think it requires such an enormous level of. I think you'd like, and it's only possible if, because we live in a globalized capitalist system. I'm not sure it would have been possible in our kind of. So you don't think it's possible for you to be healthy as a vegan right now in the UK? No. Okay. I don't. Go. That's interesting. And, and what if you changed your mind on that? Because I can't persuade you otherwise. I because I can tell you I've been yeah. vegan for eight years. I've run a 100k marathon. I can tell you all these things. Yeah. I can tell you I'm healthier than I've ever been. I can tell you I used to be obese as a meat eater and yeah. feel like crap. I can tell you. I can tell you all these anecdotes. But nothing yeah. I say yeah. right here is going to change your mind on it. But if I thought I could thrive not on it, if I why do you have to thrive? Are you thriving now? You're a lot better after you. you get but are you thriving now? More than I was. Put it that now way. I just want to know if you're th in in your subjectivity. Are you thriving? I right? am as far as my diet goes. So you think you feel like you're thriving on your diet? Yeah, I feel healthy. I feel more alive. Okay. I don't know. If I don't, yeah. And I don't know whether that's just because I. Used so to so eat. if you could it's get to a to similar place right now on a vegan diet, you would think that that animal abuse was unjustified. But because you can't, I, I try not to eat this. I try not to do this though. I feel, and I feel like it's also like. I try to eat as well, I try to eat nose to tail, so I feel like it's really disrespectful to animals to, to basically to kill them for me and then not eat all the other bits, like the organs and the bones and stuff like that. So try and eat bone marrow, try and have So like I think where we, where we differ is that I think it's disrespectful to kill them when it's needless anyway. I, but I would argue that it is a, a, a brutal reality of nature, you know, we're not, we, it's only because yeah. we're so detached from nature that we can... Yeah, but it's a reality. Of, I mean, murder is a reality of uh, human society as well. I mean, it doesn't mean we should participate in it. Just because it's something that's a reality of uh, nature or happens in nature doesn't mean we should mimic that or try, not try to be better and civilized. I just wonder whether if it causes if it causes harm to my health, I need to. I, continue, I mean, you, you, think, you, I don't think, think, think you're very uh, like. To be honest, you and I both uh, probably haven't not very into the breadth of the science, but there are a lot of. Um, really intelligent um, plant-based doctors who do look at the totality of it. Because you could look at one study, right? But when you look at scientific data, you have to look at the totality of evidence and see where it's leaning towards. Yeah. You can't just go, oh, that one says uh, vegans got osteoporosis, or that one says meat eaters, uh, hair's gonna fall out. You have to like look at the breadth of the science and that's how people analyze things. But do you guys want to take some? Why, why haven't you? He He's scared, he's running away. No, he thinks that men needs meat. No, no, men need meat. <laughs> really? So. Do you want to yeah. take one of these? Yeah, I would let him try. Thank okay. you. Hi. Hello, how are you? Me and my sister are vegan because of you. Oh, really? Yeah. Where is she? Bella. Say hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, hey. Hey. I'm also boyfriend. He's vegan too. Oh, you both, we're vegan live stream chat. What's up? She's <laughs> <laughs> been vegan for five years now. Five years. Yeah. Epic. That's yeah. good. Do you want to take one of these, brother? I'll try this, yeah. I'm, I'm, Go on. I'm have a crack. Fine. Okay, I'll give it another go. And let me give you some info as well. Um, I'll, take some, I'll, I'll keep going on it. I know that there's some plant-based doctors saying this, and there's others like, you know, they're not, they do follow a few look, of them. Right, like, no, Dr. If Greg, Michael Gregor, he's one of them, isn't he? Like, I mean, I don't believe that you only eat meat from that farm. I think you probably do, but I think you also eat meat and dairy everywhere else, because, I mean... When I can't get it from that farm, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because... Like, be, I don't like it, that's why I try and, like, but I do just... So you're animal. against animal cruelty, and like, a lot of the times when people don't want to give up animals, they start... They start trying to find all these reasons why they, sh you know, because they it's something deeper. It's something about the habit, something about the taste, and something else they're letting go of. Yeah, I do think it is sort of. Yeah, I think it is something deeper. I think it's sort of this is an incredible draw to it. I was looking for reasons not to eat animals when I seen that. I was like, is there? I was I was looking for protein. Can I get protein from plants? I was like, can I get this? Can, can I get, get that? Can we get maximally bioavailable protein? That's you don't need it. You don't need. You don't need it. You only need a certain. Once you get over a certain threshold of protein, you have enough for your body to sustain. Like, I mean, is that, is that, I mean, 
Oh, you can get 100, 200, calorie, uh, 200 grams of protein easy. I don't think you need more than 150, to be honest. No, I'm it. 180, if you want 180, 200. Uh, you're a big boy, actually. Yeah. Uh, one and a half times the size of me. So you probably need 180. You can get that easy on vegan diet. Can you? Check out this guy, I'm Hench Herbivore. How many supplements are there proteins in this? Also, I'm, 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 don't get me wrong, I'm an open-minded person. There's 24 grams in a quarter of that. Yeah, so one of those is 100 grams. But then it's that complete of an amino acid profile with leucine, I mean, you know, like... Yeah, but when you, if, you have a, if you have a variety of food, once you get over a certain threshold of protein, you'll get all your amino acids. Check out this guy, his name's Hench Herbivore. Look him up on YouTube. Hench Herbivore. Hench Herbivore, he's, he's epic. There's, plant, there's, there's what's his face, that guy? Nemai Delgado from uh, Game Changers. No, the, 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 the guy called... Uh, another common Game Changer thing about was the conflict of interest. Like, all the people who made that, they were all selling plant-based products, you know, which is the profit. And I think the problem is the profit margins are way higher. The overheads are way lower. <coughs> if you look at these studies, yeah. right, look at who they're funded by. Dairy industry, no, meat industry. That, yeah. And who's got more money? Meat, dairy and eggs. Everyone eats it. Everyone is their... The oh, well, it, no, but not everyone is a, is a customer of pharmaceutical industry. Kids are customers of the meat industry. Yeah. Kids, parents, grandparents, everyone eats meat and dairy. Even people who ride bicycles and don't use oil still eat meat, dairy, and eggs. One of the biggest industries on earth. Its tentacles stretch through uh, governments and uh, health system and science and everywhere. Like if this is, this is the beast, they're torturing the animals. We're asking people to stop and uh, do something that's better, more sustainable, because they're growing, they're growing, number one. It's definitely put me off buying meat from shit places, you know, like Mackey and stuff like that. You haven't even seen the slaughterhouse that your animals go to. They invited me, really. Go in there. Go pet the cow, look him in the eyes, and then watch him get slaughtered, and ask if it, is it justified. Do you wonder whether, like, in like a kind of like prehistoric time, you know what I mean? It would have just been part of like the natural cycle, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? Like, no, no, I just we don't need that. to I do it. Just the kind of, no, there are no, there are no vegan hunter gatherers. You tell me, like, we didn't evolve to eat this way. Just because we did something back then for our civilization to to thrive, yeah. doesn't mean we should continue doing it. Oh, well, we need though. to continue doing if we it. Evolve, if, uh, you know, let's say human beings have been anatomically modern humans for the last, say, 250,000 years, <coughs> but we've been eating meat for as long as about 2 million years, since Homo erectus, right, about 2 million years, and we've evolved specifically, then I just don't know whether we can just change it all in 50 years and eat something what is it? made in a factory. Well, you just need, a, you just need to know about... This isn't a whole food, is it? This is a... The meat's been made in a factory too, generally, but and the animals are all... The animals you're eating are not natural animals. They are in the organic grass-fed They're, they're not. They're 100% not. They're selectively bred. They're, they're bred. Those breeds, those dairy cows, they're, they're Holstein cattle, they don't exist in nature. What, producing all that milk? They're, 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 all the animals you eat are all selectively bred, unnatural animals, human-created animals. Chickens freak me out, I definitely think so. Right? <clears throat> They only live like 12 weeks and they but go so big in that. Everything that's in meat you can get from plants except for B12 and you can supplement it. I think I have an open mind. You're a very smart person. You can think things through yeah. and... Definitely this puts me off. But it puts me off like even more than I already was of like factory farming because that is great. Isn't it? And that's where most of the meat's coming from here. I know. And, I know. The, and any of the other places, if they want to invite me to their slaughterhouse with a camera, I'd be happy to come. Your, your uh, magical farm that only supplies 30 packages a day or, or a week or something? 30 a week. 30 a week. A week. Yeah, probably yeah. like sort of, yeah. They represent a minority. Yeah, no, uh, no, 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 but I feel like you vote with your wallet. You vote with your wallet. And that's why you can vote vegan every day, no matter what. I'll, I'll consider it. I'll continue to. Bless you, mate.